Hello there and welcome to our course on Microsoft Project 2019. My name is Deborah and I'm your instructor on this course. Now if you've studied Microsoft Project with Simon Says IT before, then you may have come across one of the other project courses that we have available. So you can see we have basic and advanced versions for 2016, 2013 and also 2010. Now, as I mentioned at the start, my name's Deborah, and I'm a MOSS certified TAP accredited IT trainer. And I've been working in the IT training arena for about 11 years now, and I have a background in the IT industry, and I've been working in the IT industry for about 24 years, so quite a lot of time. I've worked in both the public and the private sector, and I've conducted predominantly Microsoft training across roughly 25 different countries. And I've taught Microsoft Project in classrooms many, many times. And my own experience extends to work in both the private and the public sectors in the UK and also in Australia. So hopefully that gives me a really good foundation in which to be presenting this course for you today. Now, I mentioned just now that you may well have studied Microsoft Project with Simon Says IT before, and I'm going to assume on this course that you have pretty much no knowledge of Microsoft Project. This really is a course that's aimed primarily at people who are new to using Microsoft Project. So if you have used it before, you may find that some of the early sections involve material that you're fairly familiar with. But particularly for the first two or three sections, I do suggest that you go through them because in those I'll cover some of the main aspects of Project 2019 that may be different from the version of Project that you're used to. And I'll also cover things like what's new in Project 2019. If you are completely new to Microsoft Project, and I appreciate that many of you will be, I will be assuming that you're familiar with Windows software. So you know how to do some basic things like copy and paste. And to some extent, I'll assume that you may have used the Microsoft ribbons before, although I will explain it just in case you haven't. And in particular, I will assume that you have a good basic knowledge of project management itself. So you'll know what I mean when I talk about things like schedule, resources and over allocation. If you don't understand some of those basic concepts in project management, you probably need to cover a bit of basic material on project management in general first before you go through this course, because this course does very much rely on a reasonable knowledge of what's involved in managing a project. Now, one thing I'm not going to do is assume that we're managing projects in a particular field. My fields always tended to be IT one way or another, but in fact, the main sample projects that I'm going to use on this course don't really have anything to do with IT at all. We're going to refit a bathroom, or rather you are, and I'm going to organize a wedding. Now, neither of those have anything in particular to do with IT. Now, what you can see here is the Project Professional 2019 start screen, and we're talking about the desktop software here. We're not going to be covering things like Project Online in this course. So in the next few sections, we're going to talk about the structure of the course. And in particular, I'm going to start to talk about the projects that we're going to work through as we're working through the course. So essentially, if you already have project installed on your PC, you can skip the next section and go straight to the one after that, where I'm going to talk about the structure. For those of you who don't have project already installed on your PC, you'll need to go through the next section with me and I'll explain what your options are. So that's it for this section. I will see you in the next one.